Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Whiplash TV. Today, we're going to tackle two projects on this Duramax to make some upgrades to it. One for performance and maintenance, and then another one for just better overall looks. Please, if you would, hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please ring that notifications bell off to the right-hand side of the subscribe button. And as always, drop me a comment down below. I appreciate y'all for supporting. The first thing that I want to do today is thank all those who have served our great country for our freedom on this Memorial Monday. So let's get right into the first quick upgrade we're going to do on this Duramax. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get rid of this old and tired k and air filter. So let's get that thing off right quick. So the new filter is from Green Filter USA. It is a high performance filter like the K&N, but many people get them to outperform the K&N. You can order these filters in different sizes. And as you can see, I got it a little bit shorter than the K&N, so it should install and remove easier than the K&N. But then also the base, I got wider than the K&N for where it comes off of the intake. So it will still have a lot of volume area. It should have more volume area in here than this one has. So it should flow better. It is still a filter that gets cleaned and oiled. Again, you'll be just fine as long as you don't over oil your filter. It comes with a brand new hose clamp. And as you'll notice, the pleating is much more open in the green filter than the K&N, which is packed much more tightly. So that's part of why these green filters are supposed to flow more because there's more surface area for the air to come through. So let's go install this on the truck and see how much better it looks. we go as you can see the filter is much larger especially where it comes off of where the air intake is coming in at it is just a little bit shorter so it's easier for me to install so for the next mod on this truck it's got way too much chrome on the front end and in my opinion it would look better if they did not put in that chrome insert in there where the GMC is at to me, it'd look better if it was factory black. I'm just not about all that chrome. Let me know how y'all feel down in the comments about how much chrome is on a vehicle and if you love tons of chrome or if you just like a little bit of chrome here and there in certain places. Not saying it looks absolutely terrible, but it's just too much chrome, y'all. It is too much. So, I've got a custom grill to get installed on the front end of this truck that'll make it look a lot more custom and ditch some of that chrome. All right, y'all, so now that I got all that chrome broke loose, I'm fixing to show you just a real fast transformation, all right? So that's where we're going from. And now that's what we're working with. I think that looks a hundred times better. The black of the grill goes with the black that's in between the chrome grill and the chrome bumper. And then you've got black accents there on the door handles, black on the tow mirrors, you got black wheels. It's just playing off the white and the black for more contrast. 
Now this isn't the way that I'm gonna leave it. I have a billet grill to install into it, so that's what I'm gonna show you next. But just for the sake of showing y'all a real quick before and after, all that chrome, in my opinion, is not always a good look. So now it's time to install the actual grill shell setup that I bought for this truck. So first thing to do now is to remove the grill. It's super easy to do. So that grill shell is just held in by, by one bolt right here. And then you have a clip-in tab there, a clip-in tab right down here, another one here and down here. Then you got another clipping tab right here. And then this one has one on the back side. So you've got two, two, bolt, two, and two. After you get all that out, the grill shell will come right on out. So now that the grill shell is out and on the workbench, it's gonna be cut right here, right here, right here, cut here here, here, all the way around. Inside of there, 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 and those three across the top. So just that center GMC section will come out, and then this section will replace it and go in its place. Just like that, the grill shells out. So now it's time to clean it up and we're gonna have to drill some quarter inch holes, I believe the instructions say, and then screw in the new billet grill. So I held up the grill to the actual grill shell. I had it up like this and with the grill shell in, it kind of has a little pressure up against the plastic and wants to push back out so i started off by pushing in the grill as much as i could and then i held this front upper corner nice and even and i marked my hole with a white chop marker and then now i'm about to use a quarter inch drill bit to drill into the plastic for the mounting so the way this mounts is really simple you're going to have a Phillips screw that's going to go through the mounting of the metal of the new grill shell. Then it's going to go through the plastic and then the back side is just going to have this which is going to screw into and then that will come down on the plastic on the back side and it will tighten the grill shell up and in. So I'm going to install one so then I can mark my next one and then work my way around. All right, so I was gonna try to start it by hand, but the best thing to do is gonna be to turn it over like this, and then screw it in. Okay, so with my, with my hand on the back side, I'm gonna line up the grill where I want it to ride, and then I'm tightening up the screw. I'm not gonna go crazy tight just because it's for fitment. I still want to be able to move it just a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it back up. And then now I'm going to put this bottom in. So once I've got it kind of set, Trying to get it to wear up at the top here, it's perfectly flush. And then the bottom, 
get it to where I want to sit. I don't want nothing really poking out. So I just gotta get a general idea of where I want it. Looks like about right in here is where I want it. So now I'm gonna hold it still, make that chop mark. Then I'm gonna drill that hole on the back side. So as you can see right back here, that's my chop mark hole. So that's where I'm gonna drill in at. So I can even let the grill shell just relax, drill my hole, and then start to screw into it. And like I said, the screw goes right through here. Start this piece on the back. The quarter inch drill bit does give you some room to move it around. And like I said, I'm not going crazy tight yet until I get it where I want to go. Just trying to hold it in there so I can get all my holes drilled. Let's see how it's coming along. All right, so as you can see, it's coming along nicely. I think the final fit and finish is gonna look good. Now I've just gotta get this side in. And once I get this side in, then I can drill these and get them set. It's gonna turn out real nice. All right, y'all, that black billet grill is now fully installed. Looking good, looking smooth. All the lines fit good. So now it's time to get it over onto the truck, see how that finished product looks. There's the finished product with the grill installed. Man, that looks so much better. I'm not done with this front end, but we'll take a walk around for now so y'all can get an idea of how it looks. Go ahead and leave me down in the comments some remarks on how you like the grill and also go ahead and give me your suggestions. Let me know what you would do to the front end to change it up and do things different a little bit. With white, I always like color match. So I'm leaning towards doing white color matching on that grill. And then I'm not sure, maybe also on the chrome piece of the bumper as well. I've got to buy a new bumper because it has some dents from the previous owner. And that lower white fascia has lived a rough life as well. So, I'll be getting new ones of those anyways. So let me know if y'all know of any, you know, custom lower fascias even. Or anything you think that would look real good on there. Drop your suggestions down in the comments and I'll read them and take a look. If y'all haven't already, please hit the thumbs up on this video. Also, please subscribe, ring that notifications bell. And I appreciate y'all for watching. Please do that for me before you get on out of here. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.